First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, power cord, bracket, cigarette lighter, antenna, screws and T-taps. Pick up the bracket. Loosen the screw. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Follow my operation. This is a green protective label. If the protective film is clean and doesn't affect using, we recommend not to tear it off. Pull the green label and tear it off. Mount the antenna to the monitor. There are four card slots behind the monitor. There are three keys. Plus, up, key, M, menu, key, down, key. Align the bracket with the slot on the back of the monitor and snap it in. Pick up the camera. The white thin wire is antenna of camera. Please don't cut it, or the wires the camera will be unable to transmit the signal. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Tear off the protective film of the camera. Take out the license plate. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. You can also install the camera front of the license plate. Follow my operation. Pick up the power cord. This is 4-pin connector. Now connect the power cord to the camera. The red wire is to positive, black wire is to negative. Pick up another power cord. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Take out the green connector. Plus sign is positive. Minus sign is negative. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touched. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. There is a circuit board on the camera power cord. When the camera is powered on, there is a red dot on the power board. Now turn off the power. The light does not shine. Like my way. The testing finished. Press the up key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. Press the up key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera power and power on. The image on the screen, that means signal paired successfully. Now disconnect all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The display lights up to show no signal. The red wire is connected to the positive pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative pole of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light. The image appear on the screen. Pick up the monitor. 
There are three keys. The plus menu. M. Down. Press the up key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the up key again to switch to the split mode. Press the up key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. Press the down key when the H appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the height of the guidelines. Press the down key when the W appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guidelines. Press the down key when the M appear on the screen. Press the up key to move the guidelines left and right. Press the M key to exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. If the product you received has pictures please do not pair. Press the M key again to switch to brightness. Press up and down keys to adjust brightness. Press the M key to switch to contrast. Press the up and down keys to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to switch to hue. Press the up and down keys to adjust the hue. Press the M key to switch to flip image. There are four modes normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up key to switch the image flip mode. Press the menu key to switch to guideline. Press the up key to turn on off the guideline. Press the menu key to switch to copyright information. Press the menu key again to exit the menu mode. The guideline is not appear on the screen. In this case, the down key has no effect. Presses the menu key to switch to the guideline. Press the up key to turn on the guideline. The system automatically exits the menu mode after 3 seconds. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 